Hello everybody and welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. Today's video is all about Sensate Focus and why you should be practicing it with your partner. So if you have never heard of Sensate Focus before, it is a type of practice that you can do with your partner to help elicit an increased sexual desire within your relationship. It is a great practice to try if you feel like you're really stuck, you're never desiring your partner sexually anymore, your relationship may feel like it's struggling because of that and you're really confused because you you know, you don't want to feel that way anymore. You want to feel desire and you want to, you know, be able to have a healthy sexual life with your partner and you want to try something new that's going to help spark that. And so if that's what you're looking for, today's video is going to be awesome for you. I'm going to go through what Sensate Focus is, how to practice it with your partner, and then some of the benefits that come out of Sensate Focus. I'm just going to read you a quick little blurb about it just to give you a little bit more information. So as detailed in Weiner's and Avery Clark's book, Sensate Focus and Sex Therapy, the Illustrated Manual, Masters and Johnson observed three unique features of their research. Subjects who responded with sexual ease to one, they touched their partner for their own experience and not for their partners. Two, they focused on the sensations associated with touching their partner rather than on a wish to arouse their partner. And three, when they were distracted, they would continually redirect their attention back to the sensations of touch. So they describe this as non-demand touching. The goal is not to elicit pleasurable feelings, but rather to observe any feelings that arise. So they basically outlined this practice called Sensate Focus, which is what I'm going to talk about and get into today. And that's what helps people increase their sexual desire with their partner and elicit more sexual arousal and sexual ease in their life. And it's funny because it's about doing what's opposite to what you think you would want to do to fix a problem, right? If you're feeling like you're not desiring sex, you might say, oh, I need to just have more sex. I need to just force myself into having sex, which is not the answer. You never want to force yourself to do something you don't want to do. Um, instead, you want to tune into the body, become super mindful, and try some other techniques, which I'm going to be covering today with Sensate Focus to help elicit sexual desire. So basically, what a Sensate Focus practice is, is that you and your partner will take turns touching each other, but the goal of it is not to elicit pleasurable feelings but rather to observe any feelings that come up so um, there are three rounds of it and each round you kind of progress in the type of touching that you do with your partner but within each round it's not about you know reaching orgasm or climax or experiencing pleasure it's just about tuning into the feelings that arise um, and by taking away that pressure and that goal of whatever you're looking for in sex and just tapping into the present moment in your body helps elicit desire and also helps you learn more about your partner and just allows you to experience touch with your partner in a new way. Um, you know, sometimes when we are having lack of desire and our partner touches us, we retreat, right? We were like, no, 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 no. I don't want to have sex. I don't want to give you the wrong idea. I'm not going to let you touch, touch me. Um, and it creates this distance and divide between us and our partners. But what Sensate Focus does is it, is it allows us to touch our partners in a way that's not going to send us down that rabbit hole because we're just looking for different sensations and feelings and focusing on our body. We're not, you know, trying to get this goal of sex or have any motives behind this. Um, it's just to be really present and aware with your partner. So when we drop that expectation, it allows us to experience and explore a whole new way of connecting with our partner. So basically, you're going to touch your partner for your own experience. Um, so don't think about your partner's experience at all. You're going to be just touching them for your own experience. While you're touching your partner, you're going to focus on the sensations that come with touching your partner instead of trying to get your partner aroused. So again, it's all about you. Um, you're just gonna be focusing on how you feel when you touch your partner um, and not really on their experience at all or trying to arouse them. And you know, when you get distracted or your partner gets distracted, the goal is to just continuously bring yourself back to focusing on the sensations and the touch. Okay, so I'm gonna explain the three different phases now that you're going to experience with touching. So in phase one, I have notes here. One partner will touch the other partner from the head to the toes, excluding the genitals and the breast or chest. The receiver of the touch will focus on their own sensations. So by experiencing your own sensations and redirecting your attention continually back to those sensations, you know, for example, if you start to worry about your partner's reactions, any expectations you have about becoming aroused are deactivated. 
So when you do this, you may become more likely to feel sexually aroused. So the reason why you want to create this strong sense of focus on your own experience is that because oftentimes when we touch our partners, we're trying to touch them to arouse them or to, and we're thinking about, oh, is this going to feel good for them? Is that what they want? And in doing so, we lose out on our own experience and how we're feeling and our desire could decrease. So you're basically taking away that expectation and just solely focusing on yourself. And in doing that, you might elicit sexual desire. So you do this for about 15 minutes, and then after the 15 minutes are over, you're going to reverse. So your partner is going to touch you, and of course they're going to be focusing on their own experience, and you can just be present for the touch. So you might want to practice phase one a couple times with your partner before moving on to phase two. Some couples find that you know their minds wander and they get distracted, so really honing in on being super present in your body and just feeling the sensations, and also feeling how you feel when you touch your partner. So after you practice phase one, you might be ready to start to practice phase two. Um, and in phase two, all areas of the body may be touched. So this is including the genitals, the chest, and any other erogenous zones that were off limits in phase one. So you might want to focus on temperature, texture, pressure, because these are powerful portals into the longed for sexual arousal and pleasure. But just remember though that eliciting sexual arousal is not the goal of this, right? The goal of this is still to remain present and to tap into how you're feeling. Um, so you might get sexual arousal out of this, but remember that this is about you. So try not to focus too much about on your partner, but how you're feeling. And as the person being touched, try to just focus on the body and your sensations and not about your partner who's touching you. So always the goal is to be mindful. <laughs> and so after you practice phase two, um, you know, you'll switch again at the end with your partner. If you've done that a few times, then you might be ready to go into phase three. So phase three um, is mutual touching. So in any location and in any position that the giver and the toucher wishes. So as one is giving and receiving touch at the same time, both partners may experience with shifting the focus of their attention back and forth from the sensations of being touched to those of giving touch while noticing the vibrations of contact when they're both being touched and the warmth of the fingertips as they touch their partner's chest, legs, and everywhere else on the body. So by slowing down, you can move your attention from these different locations at your own pace. So, I mean, you can move into genital to genital touching as well here. Um, this is really about kind of bringing in everything that you've learned through mindfulness and being aware of your own touch and combining it at the same time. Um, so definitely practice phase one and phase two a few times before you're gonna go into phase three. Um, and be super aware during phase three, right? If you're noticing your mind wander, you might wanna go back to phase two and practice that a little bit more. Um, we did a video on slow sex, which I highly recommend you watch. This is kind of similar to slow sex phase three, um, but it's really just about tuning into the sensations in your body and being super aware and focusing on your own experience you are responsible for your own pleasure not your partner um, so being super aware of how you're feeling and what's going on in your body and your partner doing the same is going to allow you guys to perform deeper bonds and connect more because you're not going to be elsewhere you're going to be in that present moment with them so sensei focus was designed by masters and johnson which are two sex researchers um, i highly recommend that you look into more of it if you have any questions feel free to dm me i learned about sensei focus and the better Sex Through Mindfulness book by Dr. Lori Brado. Definitely, definitely, definitely give this one a read. It's so powerful. It has lots of great information in it. If you're looking for information on, you know, eliciting the stronger sexual desire of your partner and becoming more mindful on sex. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps this channel. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me at CBO Wellness. I'm always happy to help. I love chatting with you guys. So please feel free to reach out and I'll see you for another video shortly.